Purdy. Purdy, expensive. <laughs> This will be your moment to decide if you want this color on your car. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, hmm. A two to one. We go to six. How about plus ten?
So I learned a few things today. Well, first, let's talk about my experience. Uh, this experience being in the booth with Greg is totally different than me being in my garage painting myself because once I did all the chemicals and the, you know, you're measuring everything out and then I only got 30 minutes and there has to be a 10 minute drying period and there has to be this and then that. And it's very stressful. And then when stuff goes wrong, you're kind of like against the wall, against the clock, you're kind of freaking out. And that's how my experience was when I was painting. Now, not doing primer, but like the final coats and stuff. Because you got all the hardeners and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, during this process, I was a serene person. I had no issues because if something goes wrong, it ain't on my shoulders. <laughs> And so it was really nice to just hold the camera and cruise around and just put a smile on my face and really have a great time. So that was awesome. The other reason that I was like that was I have someone that's been doing this for 35, 40 years, whatever it's been. And if problems happen, he knows how to deal with them. And so I don't really have to, you know, worry about that. So, and we did have problems, you know, there was some kind of speck of something that like flew off from his shirt or something like that hit the hit the paint and we had to bail on finishing that panel and we ended up just doing the rest of the panels um there you know as you saw in the other video there was some issues that happened with the uh with maybe a little divot or there was something that showed up that once it was sprayed it like showed up and so this kind of goes back to when i was saying that when I think I'm done sanding, Greg's going three times longer, right? He's he's really going, putting more water and he's still sanding and sanding because he knows that any kind of imperfection is gonna show up in this paint. Well, here we are after all that and we still felt like there was a little something, you know, so we had to stop the process, figure it out, do a little bit more sanding, whatever, and then finally get to the color. Um, and then of course the clear, this is a brand new clear uh, that everybody was like, you have to use this. It is the most awesome thing for uh, show cars. And after all said and done, he and his wife was just, you know, just blown away about how it looked right there in the booth. Um, just it, the way it's sitting, how thick, how clear, you know, the whole thing. Uh, so a lot of times he might do three coats and for this, he only had to do two because it was just like honey dipping, you know, dipped in honey just hanging off the uh, off the panel so really psyched about all that it's really cool to actually see official color on the car besides my little calipers my little calipers on the car so you really got kind of getting to see the what the final color is and I am super happy that I went with a black uh, primer coat seal coat because that is just bringing that extra little depth if you will to the color making sure that it looks fully covered and there's no soft or you know spots and it, it, it just I can't even say the words for it it just looks amazing and you know we haven't buffed we haven't sanded we haven't done anything yet it's just as it is and it looks really good and you know is there a run or two in the clear coat yeah there's a little something here a little something there but that was the other thing that I'm learning is like there's certain things that happen and you just spend more time fixing it. And it's not a big fix. It's just, you know, it's clear coat. So you just sand it down a little bit and then you buff it out and it's good to go. So really, really happy with the whole experience. I'm learning a lot. Uh, the car's actually getting finished. <laughs> That's the big one. And, uh, you know, I think even though originally I was like, wow, this is going really fast. Like, he already has the hood done. He has this done. He has, you know, and I'm like, geez, this is going to go really quick. It is going at a decent pace because that's what he's focused on and he's working on it. But I think it will still be, you know, definitely another month or so to get everything done because we're doing all the small parts, right? And then we're going to the medium parts and then we're going to go to the body. And then I have to actually, you know, rebuild the car. And, and, and uh, I'm not talking about putting the parts back on, but actually you know, lizard skin the firewall and get the air conditioning running and rewire the car and all those type of things. Now, I've been planning and going through the process of what else do I need to do? When I get this car back without a body on it, what do I need to do and just bang this stuff out? 
So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully I'm prepared and I can get this thing happening. The one caveat I don't know is how long is the um, interior guy that's going to do the inside of the hood, maybe do a little bit of leather here and there. How long is that going to take? How much is that going to take? Because money's definitely running out at this point. So we'll see. But uh, I'm trying to make sure that this you know car is on pace to to finish uh, by the end of this year, uh, no matter what. So we will see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, it's been a great day, and it's awesome to see some color. Until next time, have a great day.